Parietals are like, parietals are like that, um, that thing your parents always told you that you know is a lie. Like they've told you this is chicken and you like, believe that it's chicken until you realize that like you're eating fucking tuna fish. Hmm, <laughs> what are parietals? It's about preserving the community. Yes, it's about the community. That's true. <laughs> Technically speaking, guys have to be out of girls' dorms, girls out of guys' dorms by midnight on the weeknights, Sunday through Thursday, and then on Friday and Saturday nights you can stay until 2 a.m. That's true. Making sure that you can never talk to a boy and it be normal. <laughs> All right. The point of parietals is to build community and so at a certain time to uh, all other outsiders from the dorm are gone but not really because girls can be in the dorm too who are from other dorms and so it's not really that dorm community no like do you believe that like is that really what it's for no that's not really what it's for okay. bridals they're supposed to be a good thing and all the reasons for them being a good thing but then when you really like you just peel back a tiny layer like you just look down and see you're you're not eating chicken but i mean people can engage in intercourse during the day. Exactly, but so, you're not even allowed to engage in intercourse during the day. But it's like, if that was the point, then they just wouldn't let women in guys' dorms at all, or guys in women's dorms. Like what, there's, there's, they, they have no purpose. Like if their purpose is to prevent people from having sex, well like, gay people exist, fun fact. Um, I just like, people are gonna have sex. They're gonna, they're gonna have sex, so like, it's just, they're gonna find a way, it's gonna happen. I wrote a letter to Aaron Hoffman Harding like freshman year through my gender size class being like parietal suck. It just, it does not help building platonic relationships. And that is so much of what Notre Dame needs, especially in the early years. It took me like three years to make actual friends who were guys. Have you broken parietals? Yes. No. For, I was gonna say for me you it's broke always parietals? been. Yes. <laughs> me and Juwan <laughs> were doing this talent show with our friend and he was a guy. And he was over, yeah. I think it was like midnight that he needed to get out. He was there until like 12.05 with us practicing singing. Okay. And tell me why our, what, A, R, A, what is she? A, R. A, R. Our A, R freaked out that he was there after 12.05. Yeah. Like she no, that was the night we snuck him out through the back door. We tried to sneak him out because he was there at 12.05 and we knew he would get in trouble. But did he get caught? No. Um, no. I don't think so. That's the one rule, you don't get caught. I mean, I think that that was another reason why I decided not to be an RA because that's what I would have told my girls. Like, if I catch you, I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> to not get caught, I think the biggest thing is to let the, the person you have over understand that uh, 157 is probably the last time you can go to the bathroom. There's sinks. There's also, like, I've definitely done the dash. Like that, where you just dash to the bathroom, you wear like a big, you wear like big sweatpants and like a big sweatshirt and like you make your voice real low. I've heard stories about people peeing in the sink too. I have peed in sinks, yes. <laughs> you gotta kind of like climb on there. Bridals always help me out because I'm always single, all the time. <laughs> If you're gonna be single regardless, <laughs> sometimes you gotta sleep. I don't watch your man over you, you yet. Yeah. Hate him and love him at the same time. It's part of the Notre Dame experience, for better or for worse. For worse. It's silly. Keep them for the people like me. Keep Ryan. Yeah, keep them, because it's about, it's about respecting a lot of people. And we try to go to sleep. Don't miss what you want to sleep, huh? I feel like it doesn't matter. If your roommate is breaking bridles, do you leave? Do you stay in the room? Um, can I pretend to be asleep? Will I laugh if I did pretend to be asleep? At what point does it get awkward? Can I fake that I'm sleepwalking and get the fuck out if it does become awkward? Um, <laughs> like that, I feel like that's more of a test of your acting skills, but you shouldn't be in the room. I would hate for her to like come in somehow sneakily and like, I'm just trying to get some Z's and then I wake up. What do I do? I would fake sleepwalk. <laughs> also, peeing in the sink really is not that bad. Like, no, it's not worth the UTI, so like, you should really just go pee. Mm -hmm. It's serious. That's serious shit. It is. And drink cranberry juice the next day. Notre Dame should pay for all my UTI medication over the years. Oh! <laughs> <laughs>